The newest addition to the animal collection at the North Carolina Zoo may be small in size, but they certainly aren't hard to spot. The vibrant colors of these poison dart frogs have made them an instant hit with visitors during their first few weeks on exhibit. Three dozen of these tropical frogs, native to the jungles of Central and South America, have taken up residence in the R.J. Reynolds Forest Aviary. Animal Management Supervisor Laura Valadez tells us more about these frogs and why the zoo has chosen to feature them in the aviary. We have uh, three species of poison dart frogs. One is a blue, obviously as the name implies, it's a very pretty blue and black frog. We also have a bumblebee. The bumblebee is black with yellow stripes. And we have a dying poison frog, which is blue and it's got blue legs and black body. The fourth species is a Panama golden frog. They're actually an endangered species. We have two new exhibits. They have uh, misting systems built in, streams and waterways built in. There's actually a worldwide amphibian crisis going on right now. All amphibians are really an indicator species for the ecosystems that they live in. They're very sensitive to water quality problems. In addition, they function kind of like a canary in the coal mine where they give us the indication that there is a problem in the environment. So if the world isn't a healthy place for frogs, then it's not going to be a healthy place for humans. The public absolutely loves the new frogs. They're very active, they're very colorful, and the response has just been really positive. The spectacular colors and unique appearance of the tropical frogs have visitors crowding around their new exhibit. But the frogs also deliver an important message about threats to our environment. If you'd like to learn more about the dark frogs or plan a visit to see them for yourself, please check out our website at nczoo.org. I'm Rod Hackney reporting for the Zoo Files, connecting your life to wildlife.